has decided that a tradition of the wee hours would be brought into the light of the camera. And more importantly, I would not be allowed to leave the stage when it happened. Sadly, Johnny Morbid thought it would be an excellent idea to join me. Yay. No. no. It doesn't talk. <laughs> well, not when you're in the room. <laughs> There, that sit down. <laughs> and so the idea came to bring a tradition we like to call roustabout story time. Where are my roustabouts? <laughs> Gather around, roustabouts. It's time for a story. Roustabouts, new people, are folks who work in a circus. We all work in a circus, but I didn't even know you were here. Wait a minute. If you're here, that means. <laughs> yeah. So, Roused About Story Time is a game where we do a little improv in the form of storytelling. <laughs> Roused About Story Time is a game where we abuse two guys with microphones while standing in front of you and somebody buzzes us to escalate the game into very dark places. <laughs> Roused About Story Time is really, really embarrassing. Yay! Well, to, to tell a roustabout story, we're going to need a topic. Penguins. 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 Specifically, what are these penguins doing? The Harlem Shake. I can't hear them when they all talk at once. Selling ice. Selling ice. Well, who better to sell ice but penguins? I mean, they're around it so much, they must know their ice. Experts. Ice experts, if you will. Mm -hmm. So now, the story of penguins selling ice. Would you like to begin, Johnny? I suppose I shall. Once upon a time in the wilds of New Jersey, once upon a time in the desolate wasteland that is Detroit, once upon a time somewhere, There were penguins who decided, you know what would be a really good idea? Let's sell some ice to some fellows. We'll make a killing and it'll be so much fun. That's right. They decided that they would get rich selling ice to people on tropical islands. <laughs> they said we'd get rich selling ice to polar bears. They said it would be great if they sold ice to brothels. Yeah! And you know it was a brilliant idea, because, well, when that burning sensation hits, there's nothing better to cool it down. <laughs> they decided that would be a great idea, because what better place to go ice skating than in a whorehouse? And, well, you can't go ice skating without ice. So, they'd be the middleman for that whole shenanigan. Taking it to an even further level, there'd be an opportunity for a fair amount of pageantry. If you think about it, you've got pretty women, you've got ice, you've got whores on ice. <laughs> That's right. The show that would be the stuff of legends. The show that would be the stuff of police reports. <laughs> The show that would be the stuff of my future therapy sessions. And so, these penguins, let's call them George. All of them, they're, they're all George, just because why not? So George and George, they decided, okay, we're going to put on this show, Whores on Ice. They thought to themselves, well, what kind of ice do we really want? We, we want the nice smooth ice? We want rocky ice? No, 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 that's ridiculous. We'll give them shaved ice. Yeah. <laughs> they would give them shaved ice, which provided another option, which of course was the concession booth. You see, you can sell shaved ice with different flavorings on it, which then led to a focus group on what sort of flavors would be appropriate for a whorehouse. <laughs> <laughs> which led to a focus group on what sort of flavors would be appropriate for a shaved ice stand. That makes sense. <laughs> And so, as they decided, okay, whores on ice, 
We've got concession booth full of snow cones with all sorts of various flavors for this ice capade, not actually that show because we'd get sued. They thought to themselves, there's one thing that's missing, a novelty Zamboni. That's right, Johnny. A novelty Zamboni would have made the event complete. But of course, you can't just say novelty Zamboni. They had to come up with a perfect Zamboni that said, not only funny, but perfectly appropriate for the sort of place that would host whores on ice. It would be neon pink. You didn't really think she was going to have a problem with that, did you? It's, I it's Catherine. One, I didn't think that one through. You really didn't. It's sort of like asking Pinkie Pie if she wanted happy lessons. <laughs> We're going to get sued again. And so, this neon pink Zamboni for whores on ice. It needed a name. They called it George Jr. <laughs> They'd call it Jeff. They call it the Zamboni Meister 5001! That's right. It means it was better than the Zamboni Meister 5000. That it's a piece of crap, <laughs> shoddy workmanship, and I'm pretty sure it's combustible. And lives were saved by this choice. Let me tell you, if it wasn't for having the right pink Zamboni in a whorehouse, all sorts of people could have died. And in fact, there would have been a fire because it was combustible, which would have led to all of those penguins being roasted. Nobody wants roast penguin. Well, I don't know, it could work in the concession stand. Hey! Well, I don't know. You're right, it's a terrible <laughs> thought. <laughs> and so, they had the concession stand in place. All the prostitutes were in their finest skate wear. The Zamboni Master 5001 was in its shiniest neon pink. And all that was left was for the opening ceremony. And so, they played the perfect song. And so, they played the sound of hamburgers on a grill. And so, they played the total silence of existential nightmares. And so, instead of hamburger sounds or nothing or the best song ever, they decided, I know, let's, let's just have people clapping and stuff. Not really to rhythm, just, just happy to be there. And, and it sounded kind of like this. And the moral of this story is when you get trapped in a whorehouse pageantry story that was improv into a show, one, we're gonna get you through it, and two, if we can make you clap, we're off the hook. Thank you. The moral of this story is you knew there'd be a whorehouse in this, in this story. Mostly because you would have insisted even if there wasn't. It's true. That's Ross about story time, thank you. All right, back to work. <laughs>